Hello, my name is Teacher Tom. Today I'm going to talk about five tips for learning business English. Five tips for learning business English. Uh, the first tip there is always dress formally unless you're allowed not to. So dressing formally that means a, a suit for a man and a nice outfit for a woman. Outfit for a woman. And uh, it shows that you're serious about the work if you uh, dress uh, formally. But uh, some companies such as Microsoft are very casual and nobody wears a suit. And a lot of new companies, especially new tech companies, uh, are the same. No formal wear. Uh, so it all depends on your boss, I guess, and your company. And uh, number two, five tips. Number two is be talkative at the job interviews. Be talkative at the job interviews. Uh, I, I've heard a few salesmen tell me that you should always keep talking when you want to try and sell something. You should try and keep talking so that uh, they don't have time to think and they just say, okay, I'll buy it. So for many salesmen, uh, it's good to be talkative. And it also, also shows your EQ. If you can uh, show that you uh, are a friendly person and uh, you know and understand people, uh, such as your interviewer, and you have a high EQ, that's always good. Number three, try to make small talk. Small talk is friendly talk, uh, such as the weather. I'm from Canada, and in my country, the weather is uh, very changeable. One day it's cold, next day hot. So in Canada, we often uh, make small talk about the weather. So I could say to you, I could say, cold day, isn't it? And you could say, yes, but not as cold as yesterday. And I could say, oh, but I hear it's going to be colder next week. And then they could say, I sure hope so. And so on. Uh, and sometimes if there's uh, local news, people will be talking about that also. So you can make a small talk about that. Uh, you can say, uh, for example, wasn't that fire terrible last night? Something like that. Yeah, but uh, I spent the summer in uh, Cyprus. I don't know if you can read that. Cyprus, which is south of Turkey and east of Israel. It's an island. And I was there in the summer, and uh, every day it was like 42 degrees. And it was the same thing every day. And every night, no rain, just sunny every day for the summer. So, uh, there, maybe you wouldn't talk so much about the weather, but there's lots of other small talk you can talk about. And pets are another one. The dog, or you take your dog for a walk. My mother always likes to talk to people who have dogs, and uh, it's a good uh, icebreaker. It's a good icebreaker to uh, say to someone, oh, nice dog, and what's his name? And they'll tell you the name, and then you say, oh, isn't he cute, and so on. So that's a good, good uh, way to make small talk, too, and if people have pets. So in the interview, you can ask, do you have any pets? And make small talk about that. Number four. Keep learning to stay competitive. 
this this is a uh, very important in your in your job that you are competitive with your other co-workers. If they speak better English than you, then maybe you have better do something about that. Otherwise, you may not get promoted. You may not get promoted, or you may not get get to keep the job. So it's very important to be competitive. Sometimes in English we say dog eat dog. That means the competition is very serious for something. And uh, yeah, so you need to stay competitive. And, and the last one there, learn the technical English for your work. Yeah, uh, for example, if you work for a trading company and you're trading bicycle parts, then you should know all about bicycles. And to really know all the words for your work, you should get a tutor, a private teacher, to help you learn the technical English for your work. Yeah. I'm Teacher Tom, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.